In your algebra class, you learned how to graph the equations of straight lines. What we're going to show you in this video is a review of exactly that. Now lines come in two standard forms. There is the slope-intercept form, where y is equal to mx plus b. With this form, the m will tell you the slope, and the b will allow you to find the y-intercept. If b is a number, 0b is the y-intercept the place where the line intercepts the y-axis. The other form that the line can come in is the form where all the variables are on the same side. ax plus by is equal to c. In order to graph these equations, the method of graphing will depend on which form our line is in. If the line starts off in slope-intercept form. Then we are going to graph the line using a starting place and a direction. The starting place is going to be the y-intercept, the point 0b. The direction is going to be given by the slope. Whatever the number in front of the x, the slope, we're going to write down the direction based on how the slope looks. If we write the slope as a fraction, p over q, and we keep any negative sign that goes with the fraction in the numerator, then the direction that the line moves will be given by the p and the q. In particular, it will move p up or down for every q that it moves over to the right. Let's take a look at an example of this type of line. So if we want to graph y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 3, then we can look at the equation, find the starting place. 0, 3 will be the y-intercept because of the 3 in the equation, and that will be where we start. And then the direction will be given by the fraction of the slope. It'll be negative 1, or 1 down, for every 2 that it moves to the right. So we start with the point 0, 3, that's this point right here. And we find a second point by moving one down and two over to the right. Once we have our two points, the straight line will just be the line connecting them, connecting the two of them. And so draw a straight line. And this line exactly represents the equation y is equal to negative one half x plus three. To graph the second type of line, the line where all the variables are on the same side. We are going to use two intercepts, the x and the y-intercept, in order to graph this. If you remember, to find the y-intercept, we take x equal to 0, because x is 0 on the y-axis, and we solve the resulting equation. When x is equal to 0, the equation we have is a times 0 plus b times y is equal to c. That's eliminating the first term in the equation. So solving what's left, we get y is equal to c over b. That means that the y-intercept is an x value of 0, a y value of that number, c over b. We can find the x-intercept in exactly the same way. Take y equal to 0 and solve the resulting equation. So we cover up that term in the equation. If we solve what's left, we see that x has to equal c over a. And so with these two points, we can connect them and get our graph of the straight line. So to take a look at an example, let's say we want to graph the equation 4x plus 3y is equal to 12. For this equation, we need to find our two intercepts. So we start by taking x is equal to 0. Solving the resulting equation, we see that y has to equal 4. For the other intercept, when y is equal to 0, we solve the remaining, and we see that x has to equal 3. So we plot these two points. We have 0, 4, and 3, 0. Connect the two of these with a straight line, and we get the graph of our line. This graph represents 
exactly the equation 4x plus 3y is equal to 12. There are a few notes to go along with graphing of lines. In the case when one of your lines or the equation of your line is missing a variable, the line will be a horizontal or a vertical line, depending on which variable is missing. If it's in the form y is equal to a number b, then we have a horizontal line. In the form x is equal to a, we have a vertical line. And so these are just straight lines that go straight up and down or straight left and right through the point that it shows. A second note is that when the line passes through the origin or through the point 0, 0, it has to be of the form y is equal to m times x. Because of this, there is only one intercept at the intercept 0, 0. So to graph these, we have to graph them using the slope. 